When it comes to mixing two niche hobbies together, you may be surprised with the outcome that comes out, especially when it's between Pop Race, the popular diecast model car company, and the streetwear brand called Bape. And in this video, I'm going to explain three reasons why this type of strategy is an absolutely genius idea starting right now. Pop Race recently announced this amazing 164 die cast. It's got opening hood, opening trunk. Not only that, it is modeled after a car that exists in real life. Some of you guys may also be familiar with this styling called the Bozozuku style. Or in this case, it's also the Kaido racer style since it's the cars and not the bikes. For those that might be more familiar with this lifestyle, please leave some comments down below further explaining this concept. So this takes the idea of an old school Nissan Skyline, decking it out with super big fender flares, super extreme graphics, tailpipes that go beyond the roof line, and many more aesthetics. This model car actually is a celebration of Bape's 30th anniversary, but let's get to those genius reasons why Pop Race decided to do this. So first and foremost, you're going to be getting an absolute unique combination of brands. Collaborating with a popular streetwear brand like Bape can bring a whole new level of desirability and recognition to a collectible product. Bape is known for its distinctive and iconic designs when it comes to their clothing line. And then merging that with a die cast collectible, in this case, 1 64th scale, can create a unique and attractive fusion that appeals to both brands. So seeing these two brands come together was actually a surprise. The second reason why this is genius is because of the factor of it being limited edition and exclusive. Limited edition products often generate a lot of interest and definitely hype. And I'm sure some of you guys, when it comes to collections like this, you'll oftentimes see that things sell out within minutes. So Pop Race releasing this as a 164 limited edition diecast partnership with Bape creates a sense of exclusivity and a lot of urgency. And in this case, all the pre-order have already sold out. Limited availability can definitely drive up demand and oftentimes price, which is why I always urge you guys to get things when it is time for its release. That way you don't pay the extra tax burdens of buying it because it's been discontinued. But of course, everybody here at Model Cars Houston, we are collecting because we actually enjoy the hobby of collecting, not just because the prices go up. That is actually just an extra bonus. And last reason why this is an absolutely genius idea, it caters to a niche interest. So both streetwear enthusiasts and diecast collectors are both niche communities followed by dedicated followings. So you've got guys that love the bait product line and then you've got guys that love collecting scale model cars. By combining these two interests, Pop Race might actually be tapping into an untapped community that hasn't been explored in its own market segment. So much like diecast being collector's grade items and things of being in people's collections, streetwear and things like that, especially when it comes to shoes, are also things that are in people's collections as well. Meshing these together, can attract brand new customers and broaden the potential customer base. And there you have it. That is my reasoning for why I think it was an awesome idea for Pop Race to be able to collaborate with a streetwear brand like Bay. If there's any other collaborations that you've seen before, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know, were you able to pre-order one of these bad boys? If not, maybe check my website. Perhaps there's still one or two left. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some other videos I've got in the next slide. I'll see you guys in that video or my next video.